Hey, this is section 1.2, Exponents and Powers. So our goals for this lesson, I want you to be able to evaluate expressions that contain exponents, and I also want you to be able to use exponents in real life problems. Okay, so if I have 2 to the 4th power, this expression is called a power. Now we have two main parts. This 2 is called the base. The 4 is called an exponent. So 2 to the 4th power means that I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I have 4 factors of 2. Now if I'd like to evaluate this, 2 times 2 gives me 4, 2 times 2 gives me 4, and then 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Now let's look at the exponential form. So normally if I have a number or a variable or anything that's written to the first power, I normally just write the number. That one is understood to be there. But in this case I have 10 to the first power. So in words it would be 10 to the first power. And all that means is 10. Now I have 4 to the second power or 4 squared. When your exponent is 2 it has a special name we just call it squared. So this would be called 4 squared. And that just means that I have 4 times 4. Next I have 5 to the third power 3 also has a special name, so we would call this one 5 cubed, which just means I have 5 times 5 times 5. Next, I have 7 to the 6th power. which just means I have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Now the last one I have x to the nth power. Now there are going to be some times when you're going to need to evaluate the powers. Now we have x to the third power and I want you to evaluate it when x is equal to 5. So that just means that I have 5 to the third power which is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 which means I have 25 times 5 and 25 times 5 equals 125. Now I have x to the fourth. Oops, I'm sorry. Now I have 2 to the x power when x is equal to 4. So I'm going to have 2. Wherever I have x, I'm going to plug in this 4. 2 to the fourth power. So that's equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I think we've done this one already. So it's going to give me 4 times 4 which is equal to 16. Okay, now this is where you really need to be careful. 
it's really important that you remember that an exponent only applies to the number, variable, or expression immediately to its left. So let's look at 4x cubed. I want you to evaluate the expression when x is equal to 2. So now I have 4 times 2 to the third power. The third power only goes with this 2. It doesn't go with the 4 at all. So now I have 4 times 2 to the third. So I have 4 times 2 times 2 times 2. And I know that 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So now I have 4 times 8. So when I evaluate that, I get 32. Now this one, it's the same problem. What's different though? This one has parentheses. So that's going to change our answer a little bit. Because remember, when we have parentheses, we have to take care of what's inside the parentheses first. So now I have 4 times 2 in parentheses cubed. What's 4 times 2? That's 8. So now I have 8 to the third power. So I know that that's equal to 8 times 8 times 8. Okay, so I know that 8 times 8 is 64. And 64 times 8 is going to give, let's see, um, 512. Okay, now we're going to evaluate the expressions when a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2. So I know that a is 1 plus b, which is 2. I'm going to square that. Take care of what's in parentheses first. 1 plus 2 gives me 3. So I have 3 squared. So I know that 3 squared means 3 times 3. And I also know that 3 times 3 gives me 9. Now this one's a little different. I have a squared plus b squared. So I have 1 squared plus 2 squared. So that's going to give me 1 times 1 gives just 1 plus 2 times 2 because it's 2 squared. I have 2 of those so that's going to be plus 4. So that is equal to 5. 